A woman and her six-year-old daughter shot and killed in Jennings. Thank you for joining us on this Saturday night. I'm Chris Nagus. The woman's other two daughters were also wounded. Police found the victims at the Shannon Fox Apartments. That is north of Jennings Station Road, and that happened this afternoon. News 4's Ray Preston spoke to investigators and has new information about the shootings. Family members gathered outside the apartment to console each other and deal with the shock of what happened. What appears to be a case of domestic violence turned deadly. Police say a 40-year-old woman was shot to death. Her 16-year-old daughter shot in the shoulder. The 10-year-old had a graze wound. The youngest daughter, also a shooting victim. The six-year-old suffered multiple gunshot wounds. She was transferred to a local hospital and pronounced deceased shortly thereafter. Police say the woman's boyfriend was in the apartment and taken into custody as a person of interest. Officers responded to the area. They didn't have a great idea of where the immediate scene was. They heard screaming and just started going towards the screaming. Shortly thereafter, they were able to identify the apartment that this took place at. The, uh, the person of interest was present on scene and again, that individual is a 40 year old male. He was taken into custody without incident. Police say the apartment is listed in the boyfriend's name, but it's not clear if they all live together. The St. Louis County prosecutor was briefed by investigators on the scene. It's just, it's just horrible. It's just terrible, um, these kind of facts. And, you know, again, in this business, little that we get to do is ever good, um, but it's just, it's, it's just that much worse when it involves um, children. Grand also reminded people that if you are in a violent or potentially violent relationship, help is available. He encouraged people to reach out. There are many services available. The St. Louis County Police Department has a domestic violence unit. We've got the adult abuse office in Clayton, as well as victim advocacy services. Please take advantage of those services. These things can and will escalate to what we have unfortunately seen today. Most importantly, we need the community to come from behind the windows and let us know exactly what's happening. If they know that things are going on in houses that's next to them, they are the ones that are going to help us to curb this. Police say they don't believe the victims were the biological children of the boyfriend in Jennings. Ray Preston, News 4.